Hello everyone, this is John, welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel. Today I'm going to be doing the first in a series of three videos where I taste a new product by Kraft. And you could consider this part mm, seven or eight. Okay, well, that's just for continuity's sake. This is part one because this is a different product than the KD Boost flavor boost because that one had a U in the flavor. This one is flavor boost from Kraft Macaroni and Cheese, the United States, not Canada. Um, and this is buffalo flavor. It is the only flavor that actually has a similar crossover flavor to the Canadian flavors. Um, although for the KD Boost, they call their, their flavor buffalo wing. And for the United States, they just call it buffalo. Even though there are pictures of wings in this one, and there's no pictures of wings in the Canadian one, but they call buffalo wing. Neither of them actually have any chicken flavor to them either. So they are really just buffalo sauce flavored. Um, not buffalo wing flavored. Even though there's a picture of wings. There's also pictures of uh, like a blue cheese sauce. And they might actually go going for that. But I'll get into that in a little second. So. Um, lost my train of thought there. Anyway. So. The ingredients list for each of them are almost identical up to a point. So from the top to about the middle, the only difference I find is that this one has annatto added um, along with the paprika, whereas the Canadian KD Boost does not have annatto. It only has paprika. And it says it's a coloring agent. But after you get past the vinegar and soybean oil, the last thing on the KD Boost is natural flavors. But after the soybean oil on the American one, we have as follows. Whey, spice, cheese flavor, cheddar cheese. Um, and it goes into what's in the cheddar cheese. Butter, natural flavor, vinegar, salt, enzyme, modified butter, natural flavor, and silicone dioxide added to prevent caking. Um, in the KD Boost, the last thing in here is tricalcium phosphate. Um, I believe that is to prevent caking as well. Um, but the the uh, American one has more cheese or butter, a vinegar, and an enzyme modified butter. And I think that's maybe potentially give a blue cheese note to it. But we'll find out when we taste it. It definitely has a butter and a cheese flavor that the Canadian one did not have. Um, and the nutritional facts are a little bit different, but really not anything noteworthy uh, to say here. You will notice, if you've seen my KD video, is that that one was more yellowish, and this one definitely has more of an orange color to it. I'm not sure if that's the added annatto for color, or maybe the extra cheese powder in here created a more orange color as well. Um, one note before I start, this is the American flavor boost, but I am using the Canadian box macaroni, and that's because for my original flavor boost videos I bought a large pack of uh, Canadian macaroni and cheese and still had plenty of boxes left and I didn't need to go out and buy more. And through tasting all of them I can tell you it doesn't have any noticeable difference when you taste it. There might be a little bit of an ingredient off here and there, but it's not any of the flavoring ingredients. It's basically the preservatives they use, I think, are a little bit different. But anyway, let's go into this macaroni and cheese flavor boost buffalo edition. Not buffalo wing, even though there's wings on it. Let's give it a taste. It does have a slight spicy smell to it. Oh wait, let's get some macaroni noises. Gotta love 
of macaroni on this. My eyeballs are going to be different on this because I forgot to light up my camera with my vision of where I'm seeing it. Oh, that's pretty spicy. Before I get too far, one other difference I remember. Look at this one, it has two peppers out of three. Of the three American flavors, it's the only one with any spice at all. So maybe either this is just like a general idea of how spicy to expect it, two thirds of a spice, or maybe at some point they're going to be adding more than just the three flavors I have here, and we'll get something that's a one pepper, or we'll get something that's a three pepper even. The other two packages don't even have a pepper emblem on them at all. The Canadian version was a one out of three pepper. So technically they might be saying that this is spicier than the Canadian version of Buffalo. And I think they're right. It is a it's a good amount of heat in here. And it's definitely cayenne. Which is uh they call it hot sauce in here, but inside the hot sauce it's cayenne, vinegar, salt, garlic, which is the same ingredients of hot sauce in the Canadian version. So maybe they're using even the same hot sauce or hot sauce blend. I don't really taste any blue cheesiness to this at all. So I think the added cheese they put in this really isn't adding. I don't think it's adding much to it. The the cheese in here, the butter though, the butter flavoring, the butter, the enzyme modified butter in here, I can definitely taste this because this is a little more rich and unctuous buttery than the Canadian version. And truly, if you're doing a buffalo sauce, buffalo is a mixture of hot sauce and butter, which I think I mentioned on the Canadian one, but I think what I said was there's already butter in the macaroni, so maybe they're relying on the butter from the macaroni to be the butter for the hot sauce in the flavor boost packet. Another difference I notice is that the American version is in a one ounce or 28 gram sachet, whereas the Canadian one is in a 24 gram sachet. There's four more grams of powder in the American version as well. Maybe the four grams is the the cheese and butter portion. Overall, I'd say this is very good. I think should have muted my computer there. Um, I think I like it better than the Canadian version. It has a, I think it has a fuller heat than the Canadian version. And um, as far as buffalo goes, it does add that butteriness 
the Canadian version didn't. Uh, I still think it needs more zinginess from the, the vinegar part. I didn't get a lot of vinegariness that you should get from a buffalo sauce. Um, but it's good. It's got a decent amount of heat. It's like my jaws feels very warm. Uh, nothing so hot that it's painful anywhere. I don't even have a, a my nose is not running. I don't have sweats or anything. No hiccups. So that can tell you around how how hot it is. I think the only reaction I'm getting to heat is I'm salivating just a little bit more. But you can salivate just from eating good food too. So that might not be saying anything. <laughs> Buffalo flavor boost from Kraft Macaroni and Cheese, United States edition. I'm going to give this my seal of approval. I like it. I think you will too. If you see this in the stores, if you're a fan of buffalo things or just making things a little bit spicier, go ahead and, and try this out in a box of macaroni. Tell me what you think. If you've tried it, in the comments below. And, excuse me, in the future, you will see my two other parts of this video, which are ranch and pizza. Now, ranch and pizza don't have a Canadian version, so those will be new flavors. I wanted to do this one first just because it was the only crossover flavor. It's also the only spicy one. And it is good. Anyway, hope you like the video. Give a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you on the next video. But until then, bye.